guys, this man needs no introduction. Freeway Rick in the building. How you doing, sir, man? I'm swell. How are you? Uh, fine, man. Just, hey, man, it's an honor to just talk to you, man. So, you Thank know, you. when I started, uh, you was one of my first interviews back in L.A. a few years ago. I think it was Wilder Fury 1. Yep, yep. I was at that fight with Big Floyd. Yeah, so what's been going on with you? Tell us about your business venture. Man, you know, I've been in the boxing heavy since then. You know, uh, work with Anthony Peterson, uh, Kid Austin, uh, Cool Boy Steph, J-Rock, uh, Austin Trout. Now I'm working with Troy Isley. I got a couple of amateurs just coming out. Uh, I got about four amateurs that uh, look like I'm going to sign from the Nationals. Uh, I just been staying busy, man, you know, trying to get to this money. So you going to start uh, promoting or are you just promoting? I'm going to start off. I'm going to start off with that advisor. You know, build my money up. I just opened my first dispensary in L.A. So I'm going I'm to I'm legal. Oh, definitely uh, plug that. I'm a legal marijuana dealer. So if you come to L.A., make sure you go see Freeway Ricky's. We got the best prices, best weed in the whole world. All right, so, so Ricky, I, I know you're a busy man, so tell everybody how to get in contact with you. Tell everybody how to tap in. Uh, you can get me on social media at Freeway Rick on Instagram, Freeway Ricky Ross on Facebook. If you're a young fighter coming up and trying to get a manager, it ain't going to be all in your videos. <laughs> <laughs> all in the song. You know what I'm saying? All in your song and all that. No, I'm just playing. Uh, you can go to Team Freeway Boxing. Uh, you can hit me up there. Uh, I'll get my phone number. Your coach probably got my number. Tell me you want to work with Ricky Ross, the real one. Sure. Hey, hey, Rick, one, one last question, man. Um, have you been uh, pursuing like legal action against all these shows that have been using your name and, and representing you? You know, have you been like getting at them and stuff? Cause I didn't, you know, I, I went through that long draw that lawsuit against the rapper. You know, it took four years cost me money that I really didn't have. You know, I just got out of prison. It wound up costing me about eighty, ninety thousand dollars $90,000. I really didn't have that money to spend. That money could have helped me, you know, get my career on. And I wasted a lot of time fighting. And then the judge, you know, wind up deciding with Universal Music Group. Anyway, you know, uh, so, you know, when I, I thought about suing FX, you know, and John Singleton for what they did, and I was like, do you want to go to that? You might win, you might lose, or do you want to just go ahead and make your billion dollars or your two billion dollars? You know what I'm saying? So I decided that I'm just going to go on and make my money. Uh, like I said, I'm a, I'm a licensed marijuana dealer now for the state of California. Uh, and it looks good, man. Everything looks good from my side. Oh, <laughs> hey, appreciate you, Rick. Appreciate y'all. Oh, you got to holler at my man Troy when he come back. Troy, hey, Troy hey, on his hey, way hey, here hey, now. Hey, Troy, welcome to my dude, Coach Ron.